Okay, good day there, how are you going? Uh, this video is uh, here to show you how to uh, paint similar artwork to Pierre Mondrian. Now, Pierre, uh, pretty simple, just used uh, black, line, black or grey lines to paint, uh, to yeah, do all lines, and then he used uh, the primary colours, red, yellow and blue, to show uh, we coloured rectangles and that was his artwork. Um, when you look through Pierre's work you can see that uh, as he moved to busier cities or things around him became busier, his artwork would have a lot more lines and a lot more rectangles. So obviously it just depends on the artist who's painting and it depend and so you can have as many lines as you want, uh, like, and, yeah, and as many coloured box uh, rectangles. So probably the best way to start off is to use the, um, the do the black lines first, and then you can work out your um, rectangles where you want to put them. So I'll start off with the black. Now these lines, they can be different thicknesses. All depends on. Uh, the artist, uh, what you're trying to convey. And yeah, you use straight lines, so try and make them as straight as you can. So, yeah. Now it is handy if you want to have different um, size lines to have a different size, couple of different sizes of paintbrushes. You don't have to. Certain, but it does help because obviously if you don't have that luxury you can just draw two lines together make it a bit bigger or you can push down a bit harder on the paintbrush so there's a few lines there something like this to show you the a bit smaller lines Now this artwork was influenced when Pierre, Pierre first moved to uh, Paris. He was influenced by um, Picasso and uh, Braque. And that was probably early on, that's when he first moved to Paris, probably 19. Uh, I think it was early 1900. And yeah, so you you definitely you, you're able to see this in his artwork, the their influence on him, and yeah, so uh, and that that's probably where the cubism came into it. Um, now I'll use a different paintbrush just to get a few smaller lines. Another artist that influenced Pierre's artwork was um, a man named Bart van der Leek. Uh, he, Pierre, they met when they uh, during World War One when Pierre moved back to the Netherlands to paint uh, due to the war, and there he met and uh, Bart van der Leek used primary colours to yeah, to portray in a lot of his artwork and um, Mondrian immediately you can see pretty much straight away from that time was using it I started using primary colours now now onto the boxes the Excellent. Now, so, once again the boxes just depends on the artist 
Now they don't have to go into the gaps. You can colour over the black. Um, all depends on what you're looking for in this artwork. So I I don't I like to uh, not colour over the black lines. So that's my preference. But you don't have to do that. And you don't have to. You're not limited to to fill in a whole box. It's all up to the artist and what they feel they want to show. So it is easier to understand the artist when you do look at a series of paintings, because then you do see that when he moved from to Paris, his artwork. Again, when he moved back to Paris after World War, his artwork changed again. And same with in when he moved to London and to New York, his artwork definitely, instead of having the black lines, he used the primary colours. So, he, well, he had two types. He had the ones where he went, the artwork where he would use straight, like yellow, black, oh, yellow, green. Uh, yellow, blue, and red. Um, another one that he used to do a lot, and then yeah, then uh, that was probably went from in London and New York, and then his other artwork, which was called um, Broadway Boogie Woogie. He actually had the color, the lines were like they were yellow, red, blue, and they just alternated. Um, so you can definitely tell that he was very busy. <laughs> well, New York it probably was very busy for him. So, there we go. Excellent. Now, um, as you can see, does start to take shape. Now, you actually, nowadays you do see a lot of um, Mondrian, Mondrian Pierre's work out in the world. Um, I know there's the shoes that have his artwork style on them. Um, a lot of businesses use his use his work, use his colour on their signs and posters um, there's people have even yeah, used the pattern on chairs to create other artwork so influence, so he has influenced a lot of artists and there we go, look at that excellent I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, from this you can see there are quite a few lines there in a lot of colour. So things are pretty busy at the moment. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just do one more I reckon. So as you can see, I'll, in this box I'll cover the whole box. But I have a box there that I haven't, I've left open. Well, half coloured, but yeah, it just depends on what you, how busy you feel. Okay, so there we go. There's my artwork. It's not too difficult, so it can be used with any age really, as long as well, probably uh, mid to late primary school. But the children are. You'll definitely be able to do something that can understand the concept behind the artwork while they're doing it. They'll definitely be able to do this. Thank you very much. Bye.